Hi, everybody, and welcome to Them Wise Girls. It's your girl, Jada. And it's your girl, Lala. Thanks for tuning in. How are you doing? What's going on? We weren't here last week. <laughs> we back in the building today. Hey. Along with Lily. Hey. Lily. So how are you doing? I'm trying I'm to get over whatever I have going on right now. You know, I've been sick. You sent me some good tea. I took it. I had it last night and it was so good. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. needed it. I've been sick since probably last Monday and I'm just trying to get over whatever I have going on in my life right now. Please make sure you drink it. It will really, really, really help you. I've been, I drunk it last night. I'm on antibiotics. I've been taking that too, because you know I had to go up to urgent care. So let me say this, because I was really upset. So Tell you me. know, I go to urgent care, right? You know, when I can't get to my doctor, I go to urgent care, you know, to get some, you know, medication when I'm feeling really, really sick. Yes. So I go to care, checked in everything. Lee asked me to come up to the counter. She tells me my copay is $100. And I said, you got to be kidding me. I said, I know you over here telling me a story. And she goes, no. She said, unfortunately, that is the new copay with your insurance. It's $100. I said, oh, no, that is not all right. So I happened to be talking to another coworker. And he was like, yeah. He said, we got a letter in the mail. He said, you didn't see it. I said, I may have seen it, but I did. You know you how you open stuff and then you put it down and then you like, yes. think you read it and you didn't really read it. So then I came back home and I looked at my, you know, mail and I read it and I said, oh no, they didn't. So now I'm going to have to go to where my doctor is. I'm going to have to go there for urgent care because at least my insurance will cover it. And I just was so like dumbfounded. I couldn't believe it. Yes. Like, how are you going to have a copay $100 for urgent care? Like that's, that's ridiculous. That's what it costs to go to the ER and they not admit you a hundred dollars. I said I should have went to the hospital. So that, if that's what's going on, you know, then that means that your ER copay went up then. But you know what's crazy? ER copay didn't go up. The ER copay stayed the same. And that's why I said I should have just went to the ER to, 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 to have me up in the ER. I should have legitly went to the ER. Like yeah. legitly, then to go to urgent care. So what's the ER copay? The ER copay was is one fifty, just fifty more dollars. <laughs> Ridiculous. Highway robbery, as they say. It is for, and this is healthcare. Like, come on, I know everything is a business. Jay Z told us that, but you know, at the same time, if a person is sick. I, why should I have to pay this exuberant amount of money for my copay? We used to pay $50. I was crying about the $50, but I would pay it because I'm queen, again, of going to urgent care. Okay. I enjoy going to urgent care. I would go to urgent care by my job. I go to urgent care um, about not too far from where I live. It's just easier for me because you go in and out because, you know, you go to a hospital, you sit in there, you wait. Yeah. And I don't to be in a hospital especially if everybody's sick and stuff no I don't want to be in a well, hospital let me ask you this is it that your doctor is always booked up that you can't get into see yes them? my doctor's booked and busy she's Ooh. that woman she is booked and busy I'd rather go to my primary because A is cheaper yeah and they always seem to make a spot for me so I'm like look I'll take whatever, whatever you need. Absolutely. Me. She's booked and busy. I'm sure if I would have reached out to her via the chat on that app that I have for her, I'm yes. sure she would have, you know, Jade, I could do a video visit with you or whatever the case yes. may be. But I didn't even think to do that because, you know, I was over here thinking I was in my deathbed. I was feeling crazy and I wasn't feeling great. And then I didn't even realize I had a fever until I took my temperature. And I was like, oh, my goodness, this is no bueno. Like, this is no good. I don't like to be sick. I am not the nicest person when I am sick. I... So, you know, I just was like, let me try and get my life together. Let me get me together because this is not okay. Get all the way together. All the way together because this is not okay. I don't, I don't like being sick. I don't like feeling sick. I'm just that 
that's just not my thing. So I let me ask go to work. Did you try allergy medicine as well? I didn't try allergy medicine as well. I thought initially it was my allergies, but then when I felt very warm and took my temperature and saw that it wasn't that, I said, "Mm, I actually have a legit respiratory infection. Um, I have, you know, a cold. And crazy thing is my dad has it too. We both were together. So we attribute it to us going to NC because we went to NC a few weeks ago. So I think the change in weather like really got to the both of us because he got sick first and then I got sick like right after. Wow. So it was um, I, I really think it was that the change in weather, but and that's what my mother always. You don't remember when your mother used to pick us up from school, and she, me and my brother would have our winter jackets in April and May, and I used to have to stuff that jacket in my backpack because it would be I too hot. My mother's got my kids the same way. And she was talking <laughs> about me yesterday. She was talking about me. They need coats. They need coats. I said, Ma. It's doggone near 70 degrees. It's like <laughs> 67 degrees. You don't need a coat. I got the coat in the bag in the vent that the weather does switch up tonight. But they don't need a coat right now. She said, it's going to drop. It's going to drop. It's a it's a wise, that's the wisest. It's a wise it thing. Really she used to always send us with our winter jackets. And I'm like, I'm so glad I am an adult now. And I could pick my own jackets to go out in. Because I would be out here baking. I mean, I wear a winter jacket. I wore it to work last week because it was cold. And I leave early in the morning. So it's really cold. And then I work by the water. So it's really cold. So I said, let me just leave my jacket on just to be on the safe side. Because honestly, I did not know how the weather was going to end up turning out. But I was comfortable in it all day. I had it on. I left work at four. I was okay. I was good to go. And I won't lie, I'm being like these college students. I just be out there with my little, you know, workout jacket thinking it's, you know. Oh, sick. Yes. So let me tell you about my day. So I, you know, I've been a little bit in the, you know, groggy side, not wanting to do much. Like my journey is like this. Well, today my friend said that she was putting together a little Zumba thing. And I'm so happy I went because this was just the kickoff that I needed. Although the time was short because, you know, the group, you know how women are. Like you get to some place and then they got to catch up before you got to talk and talk before we do anything. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was on a time constraint because, you know, my boo, my boo was watching our babies and he had other stuff he had to do. So I really had to stick to the time. Otherwise, I'd be on the tap tap list. Right. And we don't want you on there because we had to film today, too. Yes, you know, then I'd be in trouble with the boo and I don't need to be in trouble with the boo. No, not at all. Not at all. If you're all grumpy, then I'd be grumpy because he's grumpy. So exactly. We don't want that. And I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. Yeah. So no, I don't want you to be, nobody yeah. to be in a bad mood. I want it's, us to have good vibes today. This weather's got me like in my life. Like, this is me. So if only I had the body to fit the weather. You got the body, girl. You know you working in. I have my little waist (laughs) trainer on. And in my mind, I saw, look at that Coke bottle. (laughs) And then I took off the the waist trainer. Anyway. Anyway. Yes. but keep that waist trainer on, girl. You got that body. I I'm trying to get that body. Baby, baby. You got that body. That body. Oh, yaddy, yaddy. Child. I'm trying to have that yaddy 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 yaddy. Cause baby, summer is rapidly approaching. Rapidly. And... I can't believe it's already been, like I just can't believe. Can I told believe myself, that? okay, you got four months to get your life. Now you got one month to get your life. Now I got one. Now I got one. Because baby, summer is here and it is coming in full effect. And I'm honestly super ready for it. Like I'm super ready for the summer nights, the chilling, the hanging out, the good vibes. Like summertime is always a nice time. Like I enjoy it. Like I, I, I enjoy it. 
So it's actually, I'm going to have to come to BK because I found this new spot on IG. I believe it's called Crab Brooklyn or Seafood Brooklyn, something like that. All you can eat seafood. Lobster. We in there. You know, I, I, I may have to try it before you get here. <laughs> I will tell you, I, I, you better not. You better not. Because it will be a fight. It'll be a fight. A girl fight. Like the fight club, fight club. But no, so we have to definitely plan that. And you know what's crazy is I still have the 26th off that Friday. I didn't give it back yet. So I'm wondering if I can figure something. Yes. How soon can you get a last minute day off? Um, like, I just actually put in all my days off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a real I was going to say, how soon can you get? All <laughs> oh, my days off, but I, I have off in June. Oh. If you could come in June, we could do June. Yes. Okay. I, and I put in a day in June. I have something I think I'm doing. Oh, no, I think I just, that's the day I said I needed, I have the time I have to take. So I just was like taking certain just days. Yes. And I'm like, maybe I can take a, a day or whatever and we could do something that way. There's another place that I really would love to go. And I believe it's opening up May 14th or May 15th. It's breakfast at Tiffany's. Yes, I want to go. I sent it to you on IG. Oh, and I thought I sent it. So we're, she, we're thinking people. Alike. She always thinks she sent it. And guess I do. Because you know, I'd be on the top tick a lot so I yes. think you thing. but yes I that I remember sending because I thought oh my goodness we have to go and we have to dress up like we're Tiffany like hello <laughs> like so we have to definitely dress up like I so want to do that I would actually like I'm gonna put this out there because I'm sure the fam watches come on fam oh, come through would like for the wise girls extended to come along with us on this journey to breakfast at Tiffany's and we could have breakfast at Tiffany's together. I think and that would be so ladies. nice. We could put our pinkies up and have some tea and biscuits and do it all. So I'm going to extend that to them wise girls. I would love for everybody, the ladies to get together so we could go and have lunch at breakfast at Tiffany's or breakfast Bro. at Tiffany's. Allow we, we, we just want to get together. And I think that would be super dope. So you guys stay tuned to see if we actually got together for some breakfast at Tiffany's. And you know what else they're having a pop-up shop for? What? Yeah. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's plastic. Fantastic. Barbie, they're having a Barbie um, pop-up shop in Fulton at where I think where the um Golden Girls restaurant used to be. Did they announce the dates yet? They announced the dates. I think it opens up this month, either this well, month or next month. You know, my daughter would love that considering that her father bought her, uh, um, how did I say not a life size, but it's a three foot Barbie doll. Did she show you that? She did not show me her, and she usually shows me everything. Okay, I'm gonna I didn't show see you this. Right. Bear with me. Hold on. I hold didn't on. see this one. Hold on. Okay, give me one second because now I'm fighting Liam to get back onto my chair because he thinks that when you get up from a chair, that it's then for him to get in the chair. <laughs> now, forgive her hair, but. Yes. You can see her. Oh, She's about three feet and her arms bend and move in her hands. Yes. Like oh. when I saw this thing, she's as big as Liam. Yeah. She's three foot. From? Huh? Where did he get it from? Walmart. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Yes. Sorry. She got it. He got it from Walmart. Listen, this is not for you. This seat is for the mommies. Oh, no. I know. That's right. That's my little boo thing. My boo thing. You okay, boo thing? You okay, boo thing? That's right. He just want his milk milk. I'm not going to tell y'all what he did to me yesterday after he had his milk milk. Let's just say he was ready to go to sleep. He turned his back on you and was I'm ever so offended. He was like, <laughs> 
Let me tell you, my son does not Hi. think about his A, milk, and B, sleep. He is truly a war out. Like, truly. It's no <laughs> doubt about it. Like, he he don't play. Come he eight, did it. 8 30, he's ready to get in bed. By 9, he's comatose. He's gone. He literally turned his back on me, was like, okay, I'm done hearing her for the day. <laughs> yes. Yes. And it's not even personal. He do he does that to everybody. I need my and sleep. Then, and then let me tell you, don't be kissing up in his face when he's tired. He does the ultimate mush now. Oh, I don't know who saw him, but he go like, and I mean and full force mush. Yes. Let no, you're not, say, you not me. I'm don't get your lips out of here. Yeah, that's the little homie. Yes, little homie. Is. That's my little he book. Is. But yes, so I have to show you this. Um, on Instagram, I came across this like page for millennials. <laughs> oh, <laughs> show me so please. so strange for me to actually say that. And I actually sent this to my brother, and we started laughing because I was like, "Oh snap, this is like legitly us." Like I I didn't think of it like that. And you too, you're you're in it with us because we're all around the same age. Yes. And I just thought it was so cool. Um, what he said, he said, I'm a part of a special group of millennials. I like to call the bridge where the group people don't talk about, but I'm about to talk about it real quick. And he goes into everything. Nintendo and Sega Genesis, CDs yes. and Nokia phones, yes. Paint and Yahoo chat. Yes. iPod and LimeWire, we were the first kids with email. We knew and grew up with the greatest mics, Jackson, Jordan, Johnson, Tyson. Yes. Watching VHS tapes and making mixtapes off the radio was still a thing. Yes, it was. Definitely. We, we knew life before the latest tech technological advancements the last 25 years. But we were also the first group with home PCs and internet and saw the evolution of both. Remember dial-up? Word, word. Can you remember when the, when you'd be like, is the thing plugged in? Exactly. Is someone plugged? on the phone? I would hear my mother get on, mom, I'm on the computer. You're going to off. Yes, yes. Yes. We were the last group to really play outside with kids down the street and watch cartoons on Saturday. Every neighborhood had a candy lady. Penny candy was actually a penny. We had to talk to our friends' parents before we could talk to them on the phone when we called. The bridge is responsible for the shift in culture all around the world. We're changing the rules. We're the reason creative is a job title. We ain't got next. We got now. We actually been had it. Tell me if that ain't the truth and that ain't what it is. is because it is. I like that. The it is. It is. I, I, like I think that. about calling my friend's house, even when I was in high school, me and my friends would call each other. You guys ready? You ready? Because we would all take the bus together. And I would talk to their parents before I would talk to them. Um, that's just something we did. Remember ice cream? Okay. So anybody who lived in my area, Starrick City. Our area. Our area, Starrick City. Our area, Starrick City, we had Johnny the ice cream man. Now, yes. Honestly, um, I don't want to come to terms that Johnny is no longer here. Um, we cannot confirm or deny that report, although La said to me yesterday <laughs> that he was kind of going down when we used to get up. He was old then, okay? <laughs> man was old then but he was the ice cream man he had a bell it was the bell he had a bell, had a bell and he would sell the sad patch straight um strips that i love still love his and his out and he put it in the dirty brown paper bag. yes he will put you it in a paper it bag it. It. you could get a dollar's worth two dollars worth three dollars worth Put it in a paper bag, the um, sour cream and onion potato chips barbecue, the oh ice God. cream. Remember the ice cream you used to get? Oh, yeah. It was just like, it was such a good thing. had like the SpongeBob ice cream, the Sonic ice yes. cream. Yeah. Oh, the one with the cone with the vanilla ice cream in the scented chocolate covered with the nuts. 
Like the ice cream would be it. Like that was our summers. Like we lived outside in the summer. Like that was our thing. Being outside, playing, being free, being young. And that's something I don't see a lot of kids doing these days. Like when I do see kids outside, I'm going to be honest. I stand and I just look because I'm like, like, you guys don't do this often. It's like a rarity. And I look because I'm like, man, like we used to be outside every single day. We would go outside. I just had the kids out, like just had them out. She's drawing on the, on the sidewalk. You know, she knows how to play um, hopscotch. Yeah. And she has two, one, two, one, two. Yes. My kids will definitely be as we grew up. Like, I just believe that they have to be outdoors at certain, you know, guaranteed sometimes, you know, you stay in, but at some time during the day, you need to be outside. You need to get fresh air. My husband is also a big proponent of getting fresh air, even though sometimes I get in those ruts where I just want to be inside. Me too. Me too. I, I really want them to grow up similarly to how we grew up despite the world in which we live and how unsafe it is exactly we used to go for nature walks remember we would come up to your house and walk around and go for nature walks and walk through the woods and you know look for things like that was our childhood and I so appreciate it because that's something like I said you don't that's why I'm, I'm so amazed when I do see kids outside playing I'm just like wow like You know, I feel like that's something you should do. Like you should be outside playing with your friends, riding your bikes, playing tag. We used to play Marco Polo on bikes outside. Like that used to be like so much fun. Like that was it. Like that was our thing. um, The times in which we would go on the nature walks and we'd be like, wait, wait, is that a deer? Is that, it's crazy. Like, you don't even do, like, I don't even do that anymore because I'm so unsure of whether somebody's going to grab me and my dog. But I, I will say I have to get back out because I want her to have those experiences. I don't want her to be so fearful where she won't go and enjoy nature, you know? Just take her be with you. My right. God. Well, you know, he is, he's not one for the outside. <laughs> he does not like bugs and... No. Yeah, the minute he's outside for a long time, you see him, he'll start jumping. <laughs> but I feel kids should have those moments. I always love to see kids outside playing, you know, or taking up the block, playing in the middle of the street. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. I will even, it, like, when, when was, I think it was last summer, I was going down the block and the kids were outside in the middle of the street. And so a boy was like, oh, car's coming. And when I, I beeped my horn, when I passed by and I said, have fun. Because you don't see things like that often. You don't see kids outside playing like that. Everybody home. Uh-huh. On the they will open the um the water fountain. The yes. hydrant. Yeah. They would wash the cars and yes. the water was going. Yes. yes, like that was fun to me. That's growing up. That's having like the dopest summer childhood. And I felt like we had some dope summers as staying up kids. late. And I remember you would, we would record, at least I would, me and Taryn, it was me and you, we would more or less play like house and dolls all the way. Yeah, we the did. And Monopoly. Remember, we would we all did. Play. And we'd be like, Monopoly. no, we, I'm, I'm going to bed with this money. And You're starring. Like, yeah, we, we played the game. We really, we was acting like that was real money, straight up, straight up. It was and I serious. have to say too, I could relate to recording songs off of the radio. So I don't know if I ever told y'all this. I was calling number 10 on WBLS. <laughs> I used to listen to the countdown. I forgot who used to be the host. Something at nine. And I had every song written down. And I got through. But I was too young. And at the time, I didn't think to say, dad, come on the phone and yeah. just give them the list. I have it. I was like, she was like, are you um 21 years or, or 18 or older? And I said, no, I think I was like 15 or 14. And she goes, oh, no, you have to be did it. I was like, oh, my goodness. I was so mad because I had the whole countdown. <laughs> you was prepared. When I went on 105, <laughs> one child with the breakfast club, they roasted me. I didn't know the Katy Perry songs. I, like 
They had um they played Beyonce at the time. It was her latest song, and I did not know it as of yet. And then finally they started playing other songs, of course, ethnic songs that I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Katy Perry. I was like, and then Charlemagne just was sitting there sniggling, like and envy they now are actually on BET and VH1 at 9 a.m. in the morning. You could actually watch them live on television, I which do. I think is so dope. Like, you know, usually you can watch them on YouTube too, because yeah. they tape it and it's on YouTube. But now you can watch them on VH1 and BET at 9 a.m. in the morning, which is so dope. So that's okay. as you can watch them wise girls. And they bring, we come here and we bring all the ladies sundown. And you can see all of our episodes, all of our episodes from beginning to now. So you guys could even binge watch us, which is super, super, super cool. It's always a good time. Well, we're pretty cool, you know? I like to think so. I think we came out the womb cool. Let me tell you, our mamas, it's just ingrained. Baby, from the beginning to now. Even baby, she knows she cool too. Oh, yes, yes. Ooh, that girl. <laughs> but child, it's always a delight sitting and catching up with you. Yes, it's and always a good time. Always. So why don't you guys share with us your childhood memories? What made it so much fun you growing up? Like what were some summertime things you guys had to do growing up? What did you like to do? Share it in the comments with us because you know we're going to comment back and we're going to get this going because we need to bring back some summertime fun to the city, to wherever you live. We need to bring back some bring it back. summertime. That summer, summer, summertime. We need to bring it back and you guys need to help us bring that back so write in the comments and let us know how your summer used to be when you were growing up we want to remember when we was problematic and we throw the pops out the window baby (laughs) we can't tell the folk all of that and the prank phone calls it we was at those people yeah baby Yes, you know who was the best at it? Jada. Jada could do it. She could hold it good. Me, I'd get silly. They'd start talking, I'd be laughing and cuckooing. She could hold it. <laughs> so if y'all get a call and you think it's a prank, don't put it past us. It could very well be us. You never know. <laughs> But please definitely share it in the comments. We're trying to bring back the real summer of summers, especially summer 2023 this year. So we got to get this chat going and we want to see. Share it with us. Come on. Yes, we got to get some things implemented. What are some hot things you guys used to do in the summer? Share it with us. So we, as always, we thank you guys for watching us. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Share out this video to your friends so we all could be friends and we could sit and watch them wise girls every weekend. Like you guys have to share this stuff out with your friends. You can't keep all the goodness to yourself. So make sure you guys share this show out to your friends. And so that way they could like and subscribe on our page, our YouTube page as well. So as always, we thank you guys for watching them wise girls. We hope you have an amazing day an awesome week and remember that you are the bomb.com don't let nobody tell you anything different okay so we'll Uh see you next week on another episode of them wise girls later